Hi, welcome to Play Along. Uh, today we're going to go over another Go As You Please opening. Uh, you will be read, you can play along and watch. Now, the first move you make is 11 to 15, the old faithful move, and white goes 23 to 19. Here you go 9 to 14. Now, if white goes 27 to 23, that would be the defiance opening. But white goes 22 to 17. Now here, if you go 7 to 11, that would be the Wilton. If you go 6 to 9, that would be the Suda. But today we're going to go 5 to 9, the Fife. Now, this open is called the Fife. It's named after a, a county and council area of Scotland. White goes 26 to 23. And you go in here, you go 9 to 13. Here white goes 30 to 26. You jump 13 to 22. Now if white goes 25 to 11, if he jumps that way, you would jump back 8 to 15 and you have the center in a strong game. So white though goes 25 to 9 and you jump 6 to 13. Here white makes a move towards the center, he moves his checker from 29 to 25 in the single corner and you go 8 to 11 you move your checker towards the center white goes 25 to 22 and you move your checker out 4 to 8 now white goes 22 to 17 he's cutting he's, uh, exchange you jump 13 to 22 and white jumps 26 to 17 now here in this position you play 2 to 6 now we have a key landing we're in the middle game let's go over this landing Now, let's learn how to calculate. Uh, you need to be focused and you need to be disciplined. Uh, yeah, precise calculation is the first key to effective decision making. Now, the masters, they look at the moves, but they, some moves they, right away, they say, I don't know, they disregard. For example, it's White's move in here. If White goes 31 to 26. Now they do it in their head, but we're going to move the pieces here. Uh, he weakens to square 19, 24, and 27 with the elbow square 24. All Red would have to do is go 11 to 16, and he can see that he's in a bind. So he disregards that move. We'll move that back. White could go 17 to 13 here. So we calculate there. Now what would Red do? Well, Red has a combination here. He could go 6 to 9. When white jumps 13 to 6, red goes 15 to 18. White jumps 23 to 14. Red jumps 10 to 17. White jumps 21 to 14. And now red has uh, a rebound shot. He jumps 1 to 17. So this is one. Uh, now red's going to get a king. Although White can end, if he's a very good uh, end game player, you can get a draw. Uh, red is, uh, has a slight advantage. Now let's look at another position. Let's set up the pieces here. So far we looked at two moves. Now White can also play 17 to 14. Here Red jumps 10 to 17. Now White. If white jumps 19 to 10, red would jump 7 to 14, and he'd win a checker. Would, uh, uh, red would be up, you'd be up a checker. So white has to go 21 to 14. Now in this position, red goes 15 to 18. If, if white goes 31 to 26, he would lose. Because white would go 6, red would go 6 to 9, and control two of, uh, of white's moves. When white jumps 14 to 5, red would go 11 to 16, the in-between move. And when white jumps 23 to 14, red jumps 11 to 30, gets two check as a king. And with, with white having a man in the dog hole, red has a big advantage. So let's move this checker back. So what should white do here? Well, White has a good move he can do. He could go 14 to 9. 
Now red has to jump 6 to 13, and white jumps 23 to 14. And now, uh, even though red has a slight advantage, it's still, if white plays correctly, he can draw this endgame. So those are three variations we looked at. Now, when we calculate, white goes 24 to 20. Here, red jumps 15 to 24, and white jumps back 28 to 19. Red goes 11 to 15, he squeezes the check on 19. Now, we're going to visualize here, if white goes 32 to 28, he would lose. Because red would jump 15 to 24, white jumps 28 to 19, and then red has this move, he goes 10 to 14 for a shot, and when white jumps 17 to 10, Red would come down here six to twenty-four, get an extra king, get an extra checker, and is going to have a king also. So, white's forced to play twenty-seven to twenty-four. Now, red, you would go six to nine, and white goes seventeen to thirteen. Keep in mind that you could do that shot, the rebound shot, by going eight to eleven here, but instead, we're going to go one to six, and white goes thirty-one to twenty-six. And you continue to go 9 to 14. White goes 26 to 22. And now you go 7 to 11, which is a, a better move than, uh, than 4 to 8, than, 4 to 11, uh, than 8 to 11, excuse me. Here, White needs to create space. So he gives up a check. It goes 23 to uh, 18. And you jump 14 to 23. And white goes 22 to 17. He's attacking the elbow. So red goes 15 to 18. And white goes 32 to 28. Now red goes 23 to 26. White exchanges. He cuts. He goes 17 to 14. When red jumps 10 to 17. White jumps 21 to 14. Here red goes 18 to 22. White squeezes, he goes 14 to 9. When red goes 6 to 10, you go, white goes 19 to 16. You have to jump 12 to 19. And white jumps 2, gets his checker back, and this is an uh, even game of draw. Learning how to calculate will make you a better player help you win games, and it is the key to effective decision making. Thank you for watching this video.